This Reptiles TV Breeder Spotlight is presented by Missouri, a complete diet for all your exotic animal nutrition needs, including amphibian, cricket, croc, iguana, insectivore, tortoise, and turtle. Missouri is trusted by zoos and professionals around the globe, and it's perfect for your herps, too. I'm Jeff Gillard, uh, Jr. from James G. Reptile, um, showing you some leopard geckos. And right here, what we have here is a Sun Glow Bell Enigma. We produce quite a few of these. Um, took nice tangerine Supraco bloodlines and bred them into our uh, Bell binos. It's a combination between the Enigma Domina trait and the uh, recessive trait, the Valbino. This is a red stripe Enigma. It's a combination between the red stripe, or uh, the line bred red stripe trait, and the uh, dominant uh, Enigma morphs. We have some African fat tail gecko morphs here. Right here is a uh, white out aberrant, and it also has some uh, granite traits in it. The white out a codom trait, and uh, a bear trait, it's like a line bread trait, we're still trying to uh, work on it and see how that uh, actual mutation works. And the granite trait, as of now, is a line bread trait. And what the combination does is make a really nice looking uh, orange gecko with a nice bluish purple tail. This is a white out. Uh, just banded white out. This is what a typical, just average white out looks like. And this is uh, one morph that we started working on about four years ago. It popped up in our collection and we proved it out to be Kodam. Typical uh, features of this morph are reduced pattern and really white background colors and with a really bright blue tail. Well, what we have here is a Super Zero and a Patternless. Um, Super Zero is from Zero to Zero breeding. They come out real mocha colored with a big bold white stripe. And right now they seem to be a little different from the Patternless. The Patternless is recessive and a lot of people ask me what the difference between the Super Zero and a Patternless is. The one uh, thing we show uh, a lot in the Patternless is, even with my Stripe Patternless, they come out a lot more oranger than the Super Zeros. The Super Zeros can get darker as uh, they mature and a couple of them are actually starting to get light colored bands which almost like, like look like a normal pattern that's faded underneath their actual just like flat color. I got into reptiles um, when I was about like seven, eight years old. I wanted to uh, own a snake as a pet and my dad let me get one and my dad always worked with reptiles ever since I was a kid and I remember being in his um, frog room when I was like five looking at all the cool stuff he had. This Reptiles TV Breeder Spotlight is presented by Missouri, a complete diet for all your exotic animal nutrition needs, including amphibian, cricket, croc, iguana, insectivore, tortoise, and turtle. Missouri is trusted by zoos and professionals around the globe, and it's perfect for your herps, too.